and from 2015. Today's re- uh, People wishing to come to Australia to stay, at least one bikey hopes to return, and three who had left to join ISIS uh, are asking to come back. Australia has passed laws to protect herself from such terrorists. Why should Australia harbour such beasts? Citizenship is not a revolving door. Redemption is important, but it isn't the job of a nation to redeem terrorists who have eschewed national virtues. Apparently, their lawyers are saying they want to be an example for those others wanting to join the death cult. But if we never let them back in, they are. In 639, Ashina Jiheshwai and his tribesmen assaulted Tai Zong at Yusheng Palace. Ashina had tried to get his brother in trouble with the emperor, and so the emperor ignored him because he had felt that that behavior was despicable. So Ashina launched an attack at the palace, but did so in a way badly timed. Bad weather meant that the palace did not make a mistake of attacking outside the walls. So Ashina tried to steal some horses and flee. He was caught and killed. In 715, Pope Gregory II was elected. 1051, Henry I of France was married to Anne of Kiev. 1445, John II of Castile defeated the Anfants of Aragon at the First Battle of Olmedo. 1499, Catherine of Aragon was married by proxy to Arthur, Prince of Wales. Catherine was 13 and Arthur was 12. Catherine would later argue that she had not consummated the marriage. Henry VIII would find it convenient to claim she had. In 1535, French explorer Jacques Cartier set sail on his second voyage to North America with three ships, 110 men, and chief Donacongas, two sons whom Cartier had kidnapped during his first voyage. In 1536, Anne Boleyn, the second wife of Henry VIII of England, was beheaded for adultery, treason, and incest. The charges against Anne were monstrous, probably so as to prevent division in the court from sympathy to her. In Anne's defense, she maintained her dignity for her daughter. In 1542, the Prome Kingdom fell to the Tongu dynasty in present-day Burma. Queen Elizabeth I of England ordered the arrest of Mary, Queen of Scots. Elizabeth had not wanted to kill Mary, but Mary was persistent. In 1643, the Thirty Year War, French forces under the Duc d'Anguin decisively defeated Spanish forces at the Battle of Rocroi, marking the symbolic end of Spain as a dominant land power. <coughs> and, um,. Let's see what else happened. Because I've mixed my history in with uh, other things and have written about things, I'm not um, certain as to what is my writing and what is just transliterated stuff. Um, On this day in 1897, Oscar Wilde was released from Reading Jail. Oscar's incarceration was a tragedy, but it was also his own fault. He had sought an advantage not within the Queensbury rules. Well, that's it for today. Um, If you come across this video at another stage and you like it, like it! And feel free to um, comment and share. Spread the love. Be well.